time to impress one of your classmates. Really? <laughs> uh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> uh, you know what? At this point, I don't care what ending I'm gonna get. <laughs> Damien Aware, look at you, Eve. It seems a uh, a new champion of coolness has been selected. Scripts? It can be, and yet. The seed never lies. You step in with an idea of your own. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna guess. Whoops. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's check out this place. Oh, damn! That day, during recess, you start a half-hour race that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a red party. You gain plus two fun. Damien's just minding his own business. Clothes sliding people when suddenly a loud siren goes off up above you. It's the Slayer. She's on the roof of the school holding a megaphone and she's looking right at Damien. Prepare to die! Oh, uh, what the what? What a ballistic! Put this in your horn and smoke it. Your mama's so fetch. When she possesses someone, they don't need exorcism. They need liposuction. Oh yeah? Well, well... Damien Stock, it's up to you to figure out a comeback. You lean over and whisper in his ear. Your mama's so poor, she can't even sell her soul because she's only ranting it. Oh no... Ew. I'm so afraid that... It, it looks like an obvious answer, but in the end, I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> what the F? Why would you say that about my mom? Are you on that... Ugh, oh, yeah, damn it. Yo, Slayer, I know I can kill you because you are the protagonist or whatever, but I'm cool to beat the crap out of your minion over here, yeah? That's not my... I mean, <laughs> yeah, sure, go for it. Demian jumps up and down on your face while the rest of the school watches. You lose a couple teeth and also minus two boldness and minus one smarts. Today is not my day. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus... You give zero craps, but you gain plus two boldness. You are chilling out, not murdering anybody, when Damien slinks up to you. He's holding a large sack with the words definitely not a corpse written on it. Noob. Hey, um, you're not gonna believe this, but there's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. You never would have guessed. Yeah, no. Now, here's the thing, I'm not saying I'm exactly responsible for making this corpse. At least not without my lawyer present. <laughs> but let's just say, he and I apparently had very different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, I'm not interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me hide this body real quick. It would be an extremely attractive thing to do. Luckily, hiding dead bodies is kind of your thing. You share your brilliant solution. Disguise him as a drinking fountain. No one will know the difference. Just chuck him in my garage. He'll blend perfectly with my collection of vintage dead bodies. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna screw this one up again. Uh, screw it. I, I don't care at this point. I just keep... 
getting so much crap. <laughs> so bold. You throw the corpse in the back of Damien's dread chariot and hoof it over to your garage. Holy hell, are these all yours? Some of these are total classics. Elvis Presley? Amelia Earhart? F, you've got three pops here. Oh. Not my fault, I swear. This is a video game. No, no, nothing you see here is true. I swear. Yeah. I've spent all this time trying to be a great murderer. Fucking metal! Thank you. When the greatest murderer of, of all was right next to me the entire time. Stop blushing. Jeez. Damien lovingly lays his mangled corpse next to your pristine collector's items, a look of awe on his face. Jokes on him. You are actually just a really accomplished grave grubber. <laughs> You gain plus two smarts and plus one charm. That's something. Let's go. Oh my. Uh, ooh, hello. Oh, my two favorite boys, Scott and Damien. Okay, let's go. How I'm gonna mess this one up? You sit down to enjoy a nice, normal meal at the spooky Heist Cafeteria. As usual. Lol, JK, something effed up is always going on here, and today is no different. Hello. Hey! Oh, hello, Scribs. Do you want to come sit with us and, or, and our imaginary friend? No one else is here. Their imaginary friend roars and the whole cafeteria shakes. Okay, Scribs. You have some smarts, you are probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, I have I have 10. Thanks for pointing it out. Why do we have a wild beast under our table? Why don't you take a guess? He's asking you to guess because we totally forgot our plan. Scott! No, we didn't. Shut up. We were going to teach it the piano. Or maybe the saxophone. I lost my notes. No worries, no notes needed. You know exactly what they should do with this wild beast. The wild beast should be the new school mascot. Put him in a sports jersey and let's rock! Go team! I don't know, it's, it's kinda like Scott's answer. It's obvious you brought such a beast to the kitchen to turn it into the next Monster Chef champion. So you can split the big Monster Chef cash prize. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I go with this. What a kickass idea! Thank you. Which was obviously ours. You're right, that was our idea. Hooray! We're geniuses! Oh, Scott, you, you silly and freaking hairy guy. He reminds me of Brian. And I have just what needed here, training montage music. Suddenly, you start a training montage in which the three of you try to teach cooking to the wild beast. You suck at it since you are not big chefs yourselves, and also because it's wild beast, and it keeps in devouring people and wrecking have uh, <clears throat> but it is quite an epic training montage afterwards you're all sitting excited in front of a portable tv the monster chef show is about to start you're holding cute supportive sides and you even got yourself a custom made t-shirt of the wild beast what wow, this is a big day also how is it that we are trained the wild beast and it's now on the show if it's still none, and the cafeteria time hasn't even ended. Shh, Scott, time works in mysterious ways when it comes to training montages. Okay boys, I only hope it isn't a souffle challenge. Souffle challenge? We know the wild beast isn't good at souffles. 
The wild beast isn't good at anything aside from devouring people and wreaking havoc. You quietly watch the show. The challenge is Beef Wellington. F yeah, no souffle. Not so surprisingly, once the challenge begins, the wild beast just starts to devour, <coughs> to devour the other con contestants and destroys the show's set. You see the judges screaming, Who the hell let the wild beast enter the competition? The wild beast is disqualified. Aww. But we trained so hard. Well, I guess that's it. We might not have won the cash prize, but we won the most valuable of prizes. The prize of laughing at our wild beast laughing off everything on the Monster Chef set, which is a memory we will cherish forever. Is Damien ready to cherish memories that include you? Wowie! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, last day before the prom. Let's see Let's how I'm gonna mess, mess this up. Okay, where I haven't been? The library? Yeah, the library, the only place I didn't visit it yet. That day, you spent some time on the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain plus 2 money. Yay? Later, you see Damien packing a bag. I'm going away for the weekend. To detention. I have effing detention again. Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's log door with booby traps that poured silky piece on whoever opened it? I mean, I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Let me spill the tea. This school is strict as F. <laughs> anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond effing ditching. Do it. Do it. Just freaking ditch. Do it. Uh, economic, social, brainless, blah blah blah, with a diverse group of students. Da, 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 da. Silly dancing that you are not so different after all. Yeah, why not? So bold. Damn! Why didn't I think of that? I mean, I just did, but I didn't consider it as a serious option. If I skip detention, what are they going to do? Give me detention? I can do anything. Make a bonfire out of the desks, jerk off into the bushes. <laughs> wow. Fucking metal! Thank you. And I'll just keep detention forever and wreck as much havoc as I want. Welp, you may have created a monster, but at least he's your monster. Mm -hmm. You gain plus two smarts and plus one boldness. Yay! Oh, here it is. Who will you ask to prom? Is it really a question? Wait, can I ask myself? None of them. Oh, interesting. I didn't know I have this option. Okay, how about Damien? Hmm. Hey, noob. Uh, sure, why not? I have a feeling he's gonna say no because a, a lot of bad thing happened or whatever. But you know what? Screw it. Let's go. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom, with you? How can I put this delicately? Hmm. Frank, no. Yeah. I I guess it's gonna happen. What a loser! No! The shame of your constant failures was so great that you secluded yourself in your room 
for years and officially started dating your own people. <laughs> this could be me. Wife who life forever. Sexiest horn, yeah, sure. Most likely to be a sleeper agent just waiting for the code word. New events, new outcomes, new street endings. Okie dokie, I guess that was it huh interesting those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives after monster prom we kept on living our lives falling in love battling for friendship and learning who we were and who we could be and you know what as it always does life happened and it was wonderful Damien found peace in the most unexpected way. He kept punching everything till one day he punched his own anger to death. Hmm. He has written a book about it. Polly graduated and doing lots of uh, stuff uh, he, and she appears to people hallucinating to act as their spirit animal. Scott turned out to be a genius and became the most renowned. Mm, wow. Scott? Hmm. Okay. JK, he became an athlete, duh. He's still a bit of a simple tone, but as lovable and good hearted as ever. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone. Just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in a war called You. But once again, we were young and afraid and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Yay! I kind of expected <laughs> that ending, but you know what? I accepted. I kind of wonder what would happen if I answer every every part right. Like, you know, with no mistakes. Maybe I'm gonna give it a try, just just to kill my curiousness. Also, I freaking love the art style. It's so cool. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna make more videos of this. I, Even though this is a really random video, so... Yeah, this is a really random video, so I plan to make only one video of this. Hopefully it's not gonna be too long for one video. Who knows, if in the future I happen to play this with someone else, I will then I will definitely make another video of it. But to check out the rest of the outcomes and endings and stuff, I'm gonna play this in my free time. Because it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Yay! Well, again, oh, what's this? Unlocked. You've just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. This is about to get weird. Cool. Well, this I have no idea if I'm gonna upload this or not. If I do, well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching me failing over and over. Hope you have an awesome day. See you guys next time, script cakes. Bye. Oh, and if you want, you can let me know which games you want me to check out and such yeah okay i really go now bye Selection. damn it i'm too curious <laughs> <laughs>